just, just look, look at it. Hey guys, Kid Justice here. Uh, today I have another command for you guys, and I already have it installed. Hooray for me. So, right now this is all we need. Um, by the way, to get yourself a command block, it's us to add p that command. But I don't, I don't need that. So basically, we're just gonna see what this adds. So, more mobs by Kid Justice. This commands adds frozen dead, rotting zombies, angry cactus, evil souls, fire ghouls, porcupines, lizards, ender sprites, ender creepers, and a new boss mod. So, let's get started. So, um, first let's go with all the things that require zombies. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here we go. Here are um here is what we need. So first mob is uh the frozen dead. Oh no, I spawned two. These guys are extremely slow, you'll only find them in the biome. But they have a lot of armor, so I'm using a diamond sword. And it's taking a while. Please, please. Yeah, and they have a chance to drop a nice cube. So, yeah, there's that. Next, we have a rock song. Ow! Jeez, man. These don't have a lot of health, but they'll poison you really badly. Plus, they have a chance to drop mushrooms. How nice is that? So next, we have the Angry Cactus. Ow. Yeah, so it'll shoot fireballs at you. Those only spawn in deserts. On to the next mobs. So what we have right here is a lizard, and look, look how look look how majestic it is. Just 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 look look at it. Anyway, uh, the lizard is kind of a nice guy. He won't attack. He won't attack you. He's a passive mob. So, um, when you kill this guy, when you kill this guy, you'll drop slime balls. So. Guess now we're on to the next mobs. So now we have uh two new mobs. Uh we have the frozen bones, which is pretty much the skeleton of equivalent of the frozen dead. Still has a lot of armor and is still very slow. And we'll spawn in snow biomes. No, I'm just gonna do this. And you'll drop one well, normal skeleton drops. So if you live in a snow biome, uh, the the mobs will be harder to kill, but be slow. 
so. Next we have the porcupine, which which uh spawns in sandy places and when you punch it um you have a chance of getting hurt. Porcupine let me punch you. Porcupine hurt me. Yeah, see, it'll hurt you if you punch it. Ow. Okay, so I guess we go to the next mobs now. Here we are in the nether to show off the uh, uh, two more mobs. So right here, we got the uh, fire ghoul. Now, I recommend Ender Tools when using it when you find this guy. Because he has an insane amount of health. So, let's see if I can kill him. The, um,. Fire Ghoul will uh, drop blaze rods sometimes so when you kill him, so. So, next, what we have here is an evil soul. Don't just charge it. Um, he'll drop armor that will make you go faster, so. So. Next, I gotta show you. Uh. random mobs, I guess. Just say I'll wait for a little bit. Sprite. Not really harming anyone. So, gonna wait a little bit more. He'll summon. He'll summon an Ender Creeper if you wait, if you let him be alive long enough. So, let's just wait. See? Ender Creeper. No drop an Ender Pro when killed. And also makes bigger explosion than a charged creeper, I think. So now to the boss mob. So you pretty much know what's gonna happen. That's what creative mode is for. So, place your orange, your orange stained glass like this, and then place a glowstone in the middle. And then you can let's just get rid of those. Drop a lava bucket at the lava pot. Don't make a lava pop. Now 
that's what happens. It spawns the inferno. Uh, so let's just wait for his attacks. You know. Yeah, see, I'll drop the fire on you. You can also shoot fla blaze fireballs. And then, if we wait for a little bit longer, you know, attack. So when you kill this guy, we just try to... Y'all dropped, uh, this chest plate. It's called a white hot chest plate. So let me just go into survival. Oh no, the fire's done. So, um... You literally take minimal damage from fire. Plus, you can run right through fire and it'll just go out. So, that's pretty much what it does. Also, if you're ever wondering why each one is a different piece of armor, it's because, uh, because, uh, I, the next command is gonna link all the commands together. This was a whole series and you never even knew about it. So, um, Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you later.